Have you ever seen the word placenta grade 2 on an ultrasound report and wondered what it means? Is it good or bad? Should you be worried? Whether you're a medical student trying to master obstetric ultrasound or a parent curious about a baby's scan, this video will make placental grading crystal clear. Let's decode what your placenta is trying to tell you. The placenta is a vital organ that nourishes your baby throughout pregnancy. As it matures, it undergoes visible changes on ultrasound. Placental grading is a system that describes these changes and it can give us clues about the age and the health of the placenta. So let's break down the grading system developed by Granum. Placenta grade 0. It is seen up to 18 to 20 weeks. There are smooth chorionic plate homogeneous texture with no calcification. Think of it as the young placenta. Placenta grade 1. This is seen around 18 to 29 weeks. There are subtle indentations in the chorionic plate. Scattered echogenic spots are seen which suggest early calcifications. So this grade of placenta shows mild signs of maturation. Placenta grade 2. Typically seen around 30 to 38 weeks. There are deeper indentations in the chorionic plate. More calcifications are seen especially along the basal layer. This grade of placenta is getting closer to full term. Placenta grade 3. Usually this is seen at around 38 weeks or more. In some cases it can be seen earlier. The chorionic plate is lobulated. There is extensive calcification. Placental lakes and clear cotyledons may also be seen. A grade 3 placenta is a mature placenta and it can be even called an aging placenta. So how is placental grading clinically significant? Placental grading isn't a diagnostic test on its own. A grade 3 placenta at 39 weeks, that's expected. But a grade 3 placenta at 32 weeks, that may suggest placental insufficiency, especially if there are other risk factors like IUGR or hypertension. Doctors interpret placental grade along with fetal growth, fluid levels, and Doppler studies. When to not rely on placental grading alone? Some placentas mature early without causing problems. Others stay at grade 1 until delivery. That's why modern obstetrics focuses more on functional assessment like fetal well-being and Doppler flow rather than grade alone. So next time you see a placenta grade 2 in a report, don't panic. Now you know what it means. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more ultrasound insights and comment below if you have a question or topics you would like to see next. Thank you.